Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 34th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out another numeric function and this one is the round function and it's used to round off numbers, right? So let me, you know, just show you guys a few examples and then we'll talk about the round function. So if suppose you want to round off, uh, you know, a number to, uh, you know, the nearest decimal point right let's say if you want to round out a uh, round off 54.783 to uh, you know th the nearest decimal point then you know you'll use the round function and uh, you'll have to first type in select and then uh, the name of the function which is round and then within parentheses you'll have to you know type in the number that you want to round off and you know in this case it's 54.783 when i press control enter i get 55 as the answer right so you know when you use the round function this way that is when you pass just one argument to it you know sql assumes that you want to round the number off to the nearest decimal place right so it assumes that you don't want to see anything after the decimal point but uh, you know this is the same as saying that you know round off this number to you know zero digits after the decimal point so if you would execute this query you would still get 55 as the answer but if suppose you want to see one digit after the decimal point after the number has been rounded off like for this number 54.783 if you would round this off to one decimal point uh you know then the answer that you would get would be 54.8 so let's uh execute the query and there you go you see that the answer is 54.8 and uh, if you would round it off to two digits after the decimal point then uh, the answer would be 54.78 right because uh uh, after 8 you have 3 and since 3 is less than 5 you know I'm not going to discuss rounding off rules in this tutorial but uh, you know if suppose I change this 3 to 7 and now if I would execute this query then you would get uh, 54.79 instead right because uh, number now is 87 so you know it, it's closer to 90 than it is to uh, 80 right but if I have uh, 3 here then 83 is closer to 80 than it is to 90 so that's why we had 50 54.78 is the answer for this one and uh, another thing is if suppose you want to round off a negative number like uh, minus 12.57 right and uh, let me remove this 2 and put in a 0 there if you would execute this query then you would get minus 13 as the answer right so the number has been rounded uh, to the nearest uh, you know decimal point uh, and uh, you know same rounding rules rounding off rules apply to positive as well as negative numbers you know basically it's you know the distance from zero is is uh, considered you know not the sign so you know i mean if this was positive 12.57 you would still get the same answer you know you would still get 13 for it and uh, you know if it's minus 12 point uh, you know 57 you would get minus 13 is the answer so i hope you guys understand the point but anyway let's check out an application of the round function so what we're going to do is we are again going to use uh, the same two tables tutorial as well as uh, tutorial underscore info table and uh, we'll join them and get some information out but what we're going to get out is the average number of likes you know f for all the videos uh, you know grouped by the subjects right so in one of the tutorials we saw the total number of likes and total number of uh, views for all the tutorials grouped by different subjects in this in this tutorial we're going to check out the average number of likes right so the query is going to be select and uh, then t dot subject and uh, then i'll type in uh, abg which is an aggregate function and uh, in the parentheses as an argument i'll pass ti dot likes and uh, then i would uh, type in uh, from and then t dot sorry from uh, tutorial as t join tutorial underscore info as ti and uh, then is there anything else that i have to put in here uh, of course the on clause and the condition which is t dot id equals tutorial underscore id and i also have to put in group by since i want uh, you know data to be grouped by uh, subject so t dot subject would go in there put a semicolon to terminate the statement and there you go you see that you know the subject c 
has uh, I mean all the tutorials in subject C on an average have 1341.1250 likes and all tutorials in in the shell scripting course have on an average 1289.75 likes and all tutorials in the SQL uh, playlist have on an average 50 52.400 likes but since we know that there is no such thing as 0.125 like or you know 0 0.750 like you know whether you like or whether you don't like there's no such thing as 0 0.1250 like of course you could say that you know since we're discussing averages here you know it makes sense to have some you know floating value as the result but if suppose you just want to see the you know likes uh, or views data you know rounded off to the nearest decimal then for that case you know it, for, for such a thing you'll have to use the round function and you just type in round here around the average uh, function average aggregate function here and uh, you know let's let's make it a little more readable so I'll type in as um, you know the average number of likes uh, rounded off to the nearest decimal point right so this makes a bit more sense and when I would execute this query you would see that C tutorials now on an average have 1341 likes and shell scripting tutorials now on an average have 1290 likes and SQL tutorials now on an average have 52 likes so anyway that's it about the round function in the next tutorial we'll check out another numeric function and uh, thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you in the next tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you soon